Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm back sitting on my bed because we took down that tapestry and put up vines and lights and it's just so much nicer. It makes the room look so much brighter and it's a lovely backdrop for videos. So I'm back filming on my bed. It's just so much easier for me. Like that wee setup I had on the floor killed my back. It wasn't comfy, there was no space. But on my bed, I'm sitting here, my makeup setup's in front of me, all my drawers, and it's just so much easier. So I hope you like new background, because I certainly do. I will be filming my videos in front of this background until we move house now, and I'm certain on this. I said that the last time, but I'm certain on this. I'm happy with this background, and it is here to stay. If you read the title, you already know what this video's gonna be, obviously. I don't know why we do introductions, but we do. So, today I'm gonna to be doing a full face of Avon makeup, and this is what I've got on my face right now. So if you wanna see how I achieved this look using only Avon products, just keep watching. To start off the makeup, I'm gonna go in with my primer. Now, I actually have two primers. I ordered one, and I got one for free because my order was taking quite a while to come. So the one that I ordered is Avon Magic Smoothing SPF 20 Primer. Then the one that I got free is Avon Magic's Hydrating Primer. But for today, I think I'm going to stick with the Smoothing Primer. This is the one that I ordered. It's taken its time to come out of the tube, and it's pretty thick. It was quite hard to squeeze out that bottle there. But let's see. Let's put it on the T-zone area. And from first impressions of touching it and putting it on my face, it's got the same consistency as the Benefit Professional. And it dries very quickly which I love. I love a primer that dries very quickly. There's nothing worse than your face feeling oily or wet from a primer so I'm liking that so far and the more I put it on my face it's got such a nice smell to it. face feels so smooth now that I've got that primer on. Okay next I'm going to move on to eyebrows and for eyebrows I picked up a pencil. I usually use pencil and powder on my eyebrows but I didn't pick up a powder. I just picked a pencil. The Avon Mark Perfect Brow Sculpting Pencil and I got it in the shade Light Brown. And this is what we look like here. It's just an angled pencil at the end. Oh, that is so creamy. It literally just glides on. And I have used Avon before and I can always remember their pencil products being very creamy. None of them would drag the skin or the eyes or the lips or wherever you were putting the pencils, which is great. And that colour match is not too bad. For just pencil, I'm not mad at the eyebrow. Definitely not mad at the eyebrow. I do wish I picked up a powder now just to fill in little sparse areas, but I could deal with that. And I have been liking a more natural looking brow. I know this isn't natural, but compared to what my brows used to be, they're natural. So I'm just going to fill in this other eyebrow and then come back with the next product. Next I'm taking a concealer to carve my brows. It's the Avon Mark Nude Matte Cream Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just going to use a little bit of this to carve out my brows. Then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just kind of blend it out a little bit. It's crazy seeing how we carve eyebrows out now because do you remember that trend? You would do your eyebrows and you would carve underneath and on top and you would have a big white mark. I never used to do it to that extent but I still see younger girls cutting about like that. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I didn't pick up an eyeshadow palette because I seen this product and I was like, right, that looks quite cool. But the image kind of deceived me a little bit. But I picked up the Avon Show Glow Glitter Flick Stick. And I got it in flickering gold. And it is basically just a shimmer crayon for your eyes. So this is what we're working with today. So I'm not going to put concealer or primer on my lids. I'm just going to go straight in with this because it's creamy enough. Oh yeah, there's your glitter. So, I'm kind of wishing I picked up another eyeshadow product. But, it goes on really well. 
you could literally do that and be done with it. And you got these in different shades, but I just chose the champagne. Very simple eye look, but as I said, for anyone starting out in makeup or someone that just wants to put makeup on really quickly and be done with it, this would be a perfect product for them or for you. Um, but yeah, that's all I can really say. Okay, sticking my eyes, I'm going to use one of the products I got as my little free bundle. It's the Avon True Colour Glimmer Stick Eyeliner in Cosmic Brown. It is just a brown eyeliner and I've used Avon's eyeliners before and they were amazing, so creamy, they just glide on. I'm going to try and do a little brown wing, you know everyone's doing them right now, but I haven't tried so this may go horribly wrong. I was just going to say they blend out really nicely, but my wing shape is tragic. Right, I'm not too sure how I'm feeling about this, so I'm just going to go and apply the rest and figure something out. But you get the gist of what I'm doing. Right, it's not went to plan, but it'll do. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye and I'll be right back to you. So, moving on to face. For foundation, I have got the Avon True Colour Flawless Liquid Foundation in the shade Creamy Natural. Um, I did tan the other day, so I'm not sure if this will be too light or not, but we'll try it and fix it and it's, it's going to be fine. It's not too bad of a match, but I don't think it would match me if I was freshly tanned, basically. But... It's got not bad coverage as well. I'd say it's a bit of medium coverage because it's covered my red cheeks up pretty well. Right, first impressions so far. I kind of enjoy it. It's like light to medium coverage. It's very lightweight on the skin. I hate a foundation that's heavy on the skin and you just feel mucky and dirty. That's how the skin looks with just foundation on. I'm going to go back in with the MAC Nude Matte Cream Concealer to conceal under my eyes. I will say about the concealer, it is the only product so far I have smelt and it has got um, a very, very, very artificial makeup smell. Okay, I've got to blend this out. Not too bad. I will say one thing about Avon, almost all the products that I've tried anyway are so easy to blend out. They just blend out so easily, so nicely. It's great. It's got decent coverage. I would say it would be again light to medium, but if that's what you're into. I'm happy with the way that concealer turned out. I'm just going to get an all over blend with my big beauty blender just to ensure everything. Is blended nicely. Next for setting powder we have the Magic HD setting powder. It is just translucent. So I'm going to use a brush today to do my baking. I have been using Beauty Blenders for a while but I like to switch it up and for the longest time I was using a brush to bake under my eyes. So I just use this brush and it fits perfectly under my eyes. Oh. 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 I didn't even do it high enough on this eye because of the smell of it. Hopefully this doesn't leave a big white mark. So moving on to powder. I have the Avon True Colour Flawless Mattifying Pressed Powder. And this is what we look like. Let's mattify this face. Okay. Can I see a difference? Let's see if it is mattifying. So, I can see a small difference. It is definitely mattifying my face. Right, that has definitely mattified my face and powdered me up. I'm just going to brush away this bake and hope it hasn't left a white residue. I feel, since I've put that powder on, I've not got as much coverage under my eyes anymore. Like my bags are really prominent again. On to bronzer. Hopefully this is a very orangey tone bronzer because you know I love my orange tone bronzers. So I have the Avon True Colour Glow Bronzing Powder in Medium Rivera. This is what we look like. High hopes for this. Oh 
yeah a very orangey toned bronzer which i love i think this could be a new favorite bronzer of mine i love it i love that bronzer and if you've got an avon book an avon lady avon representative go buy this bronzer this is my favorite product so far i love a good bronzer oh, that's cheered me right up that's taken away the fact that i've got black eyes anyway next for blush i have an avon true color luminous blush and warm flush this packaging reminds me of makeup that my nan used to have it would be these rectangle blushes and eyeshadows and stuff like that so that's cute but it's very shimmery this blush it is very very shimmery it looks very light and peachy in the pan but let's see how it applies to the skin it's applying a lot brighter than it's shown up in the pan I've blended it out and it's blended out relatively well. It is a bit darker than it appears in the pan. As you can see, it's a lot brighter than it appears in the pan. I'm just going to put on a highlight from my collection because I did say the only product I didn't get is a highlight because it was taking way too long to come, so I didn't end up getting it. Okay, highlight is on, so I'm going to go in with a setting spray now. So I did purchase one and then I got one for free because my order was taking so long. So it is the Magic Mark Magic Prep and Set Spray. So I'm going to obviously just use one and spray this all over my face to set this makeup in. Not that I'm going anywhere. Oh. Okay, first impressions of that, it's got a very powerful nozzle. That came at me like a bat out of hell, it's leaving like watermarks on my face. So let me try and get this dry for mascara i'm very excited about this product because i used to use this product so much when i was younger i think this is one of the first mascaras i ever got because my auntie always used to use it and i used to always pinch it from her it's the avon super shock volume mascara and if i can remember correctly it had a massive wand is it still the same it's still the same it's a huge wand i might not like this now because it's appearing a bit clumpy at the ends but let's just go in for it It leaves clumps of mascara on the lashes, but if you went over it a few times and collected them, I'm sure you'd be fine. Not as groundbreaking as it used to be to me, but I think it was because I used to pile this on because I used to be right into the spider lashes. I used to pile it on and it would really lengthen and spiderfy my lashes. That is my top lashes done. I'm going to try this on my bottom lashes which I'm a bit scared for because the wand is so huge but let me just let me just try it. I'm going to leave it like that. You can see some parts are more coated than others but it's not the worst. I will say that it's not the worst. For lip liner I have got a pro line lip perfector in Bare My Soul and it's a very nice pinky nude. I don't know if this rolls up or not. The bottom's rolling, but the liner isn't. Anyway, let's line the lips with these. Again, like every other pencil product, it's so smooth, so creamy. It doesn't drag along the lips, which is great. It's a nice colour as well. Nice pinky nude. Right, I'm just going to fill in a little bit with this lip liner as well. I hope this does roll up because that is such a nice lip liner and I will definitely want to use that again. Even on its own, that would be such a nice shade. Okay, for lipstick, I have two options. I have the lipstick that I got free, which is in blush. This is a really nice pink, so I'm not sure that's what I want to go for. But the one I picked out was Avon True Power State 16 Hours Lip Colour. And it's in the shade Can't Quit Cafe. This is just what we look like right here. This is more the shade I'm going for. It's a pinky nude, which we love. So let's see. It feels so nice going on the lips. One thing though, since it lasts 16 hours, they tend to dry my lips out a little bit. 
but we'll see because I'm filming another video after this so I'll keep it on okay so that is all I have for my full face of Avon makeup I am so impressed with all these products I may have to repurchase some of them when I use them up it's great to have these in my collection as well and it does show you that catalog makeup isn't always the worst um, and Avon has certainly upped its game from years and years ago. I do want to film more of these style videos like full face of one brand but you just need to subscribe and wait and see for those. I have missed doing makeup so I want to come back with a makeup video after not wearing makeup in the longest time over Christmas and New Year but that is all I have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.